Astoria is planning for a record number of cruise ships this year. In all, the Port of Astoria is expected to host 37 cruise ships and around 80,000 passengers between March and October. The first ship scheduled to arrive, the Grand Princess, on March 31st. But those plans may be up in the air. The Grand Princess is currently idling off the coast of San Francisco amid concerns those on board may have been exposed to the coronavirus. A former passenger died. The Coast Guard requires that ships report any sick crew or passengers two weeks prior to arrival in a U.S. port. In anticipation of cruise ship season, health officials in Astoria and local leaders say they're working on a strategy to keep everyone safe. Yeah, it's a rapidly evolving situation. That's why I'm urging patience, caution, monitor, be aware. Astoria is uniquely positioned because it's a stopover along the West Coast. The ships are coming from places where they're being vetted, like San Francisco or Vancouver, B.C. And so that's the one good thing is if there's a problem, it's likely going to get caught before it gets here. Volunteer hosts and small business owners are cautiously optimistic about cruise ship season. Tens of thousands of extra tourists provide a jolt to the local economy. We've seen a downturn, of course, in the fishing industry and in the lumber industry. And with that downturn, we've kind of picked it up with tourism. County health officials say the U.S. Coast Guard will take the lead on any screening procedures for visitors coming off cruise ships. The Coast Guard has been meeting with local leaders and port officials to finalize those plans. Local officials confirmed they've been in contact with those in California not only to get an update on the Grand Princess, but also just a better understanding of how things are working down there in regards to cruise ships. I did send an email message asking questions to the Coast Guard about cruise ships arriving here at the Port of Astoria, and so far I've not heard back.